I love comeback tracks in anime. Something about being in a bad position and turning it for your victory. I've always loved it. So today I just wanted to take the time to look at some comeback tracks I've picked out. I usually base them off how hype I feel from them and if it sounds good to me. I don't really know much about music, never played a real instrument, only piano. So I'm not really going to review bad music. I've only picked out comeback tracks I like, so keep that in mind. I'm sort of reviewing the music based on itself using the context of the series to base it off of. But overall the actual application of the song isn't being looked at. You know, I feel some kind of way about You Say Run. In my opinion, it's a great track. Typically, a comeback track has some stagnation where it stays at the same level of intensity. And that's because I think that a track that only ever goes up can get kind of repetitive. For instance, Flight of the Bee, or In the Hall of the Mountain King. So letting a track sort of stay put and make something in the bridges or verses of the song is very good and adds variation in a song that's otherwise only held up by its chorus. But for You Say Run, it's got this sort of droning sound with some of its trumpets. I don't know how else to describe it. I, I don't know. I don't. I just don't like that part. However, this part is great. And one more thing, I love it when tracks die down and then come back much harder. It's great for making the climax of the song much more climactic. For instance, JoJo's Part 5 has Jono's theme, which does it, and You Say Run also does it. This is an inspiring track, and the violin is beautiful accompanied by these chants in the background. It has this really nice drum set in the mix which ramps up before the violin and the flutes, I think? It's triumphant and hype, yet graceful with its use of violin and flutes. It's got this trumpeting feeling which gives it its triumph without really making it sound too over embellishing. I mean, this song has like 50 different iterations, some of which are more basic than this track and some which are way too decorated for me. Overall, this track is iconic already, and it's exactly what I think of when it comes to comeback tracks in anime. This is a song we all grew up with in the original Naruto. We all know the goddamn song. It's got this iconic bassline guitar and drum that starts off the track strong. And it's got this iconic brass instrument that occasionally trumpets off all bum 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 bum. The flute is great here, and it gives this airy vibe to the song which really fits Naruto as a series as the main character uses the win attribute, and how the show is a lot about mobility. They got the fucking guys on a banjo? What?! Yeah, I, I love this track so goddamn much. Believe it or not, there's another one. It's called the Naruto main theme. It still uses the flute and heavy guitar, but now it has these sort of chants that sound like you'd hear in a temple or something. It's hype, and it has these standout solo guitarist moments where it just riffs on and oh my god, I love this track so goddamn much. And let's not forget, there's another one of these tracks. Strong and Strike is a Naruto track that's a spin-off of the main theme we just looked at. It still has the same chants and heavy guitar, but instead of there being riffs, it's more aimed at the flute. If all these songs had tempo graphs to show points at where it's the most intense in the song and others where it's laid back, this is how it would look for the tracks. So you say Run would look a bit like this, Raising Fighting Spirit would look kinda like this, and this is what Strong and Strike would look like. It's odd because I've never seen a flute instrument be so intense in my life. It's the only song I've ever heard in my life where a banjo flute combo brought so much adrenaline to me. And I honestly would love to hear more Naruto-esque music. I just like how it has this traditional Japanese feel to the music while incorporating more recent additions to music like guitars and banjos. This kaiju track starts off at rock bottom dwelling in Kaiji's losses. But unlike usual sad tracks, it's got an organ taking the forefront of this track. Just listening to the organ, it feels like you're at a church, attending a funeral of a friend. It really does embody the state of loss. In Kaiji, losing a bet doesn't just mean you lost money. No, it often means certain death. The composer of the Kaiji soundtrack, Hideki Tanyuichi, is often heard using lots of synths in his music, and in this track it's no different. There's these synths stacked atop each other that come together to give a haunting orchestral feel. The use of synths instead of actual voices is a good touch in my opinion, as it really gives a more hopeless feel. It's not even humans crying out to you. No, it's an alien sound that resembles a human. Add in the piano and you've got a track really indulging in the state of loss. <clears throat> I'm gonna need you to play along as I try to make this sound cooler. Hopefully this will help the track hit harder. 
Kaiji is a loser. And after this crushing defeat, he sat there wondering if it was all for naught. Kaiji really lost. And this time, it's the end. Or is it? And then, a striking electric guitar starts riffing violently. And the sound of wet drum slaps are heard in your left ear, slowly rising in tempo. And now we have the turning point of the track. A radiating punk energy has slowly been introduced. Kaiju's personal theme in the show and the opening, two tracks that really match Kaiju the character and the show's themes are often punkish. This is because that's what Kaiju is. It's a show about a guy toppling an elite bourgeois class that uses human as fodder for their own amusement. It takes on a harsh guitar energy, harnessing that punk energy of rejecting society. The use of the electric guitar really feels like Kaiji stepping onto the track, trying to fight back the loss. It's not over yet. As you've heard, it gets morphed into the first leg of the track. We have the two parts of the song fighting over control of the track. It's important to note that the guitar takes a bit of a backseat just faintly being heard riffing while the track is otherwise mostly gloomy. And this resembles how much of an underdog Kaiji is. The guitar that's meant to musically cue Kaiji is having trouble overcoming the organs and synth choirs. Both contrast in a way that muddies the meaning of the song. Is this song really about defeat as the title says? One side is fighting back, fighting to survive, and the other is accepting defeat, accepting death. And the best part? I don't even know for sure if it's a track about a comeback, but it sounds like that's what it's trying to be. This isn't a comeback track in the way that it's bouncing back from a loss, no. It's a comeback track because it's about trying to make the comeback happen. This song is about an attempt, the attempt at taking control of your life, taking back your life from the scum that want it from you. This song isn't about overcoming this one challenge, no. It's for life. This song is a pact to yourself. You will come back victorious. <clears throat> So, so yeah, it's, it's basically something like that. Thank you so much for visiting me today, going over some comeback themes. This is a bit of a laid back video, hopefully that's alright to you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, it helps out the channel, and if you want, subscribe. It's free and we're almost at 1000 subscribers. You can change your mind anytime you want and unsubscribe, but I'll cry if you do. Alright, bye.